Respect the Comics, and I'm back with my new comic book day best bets of the week for March 4, 2020. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's see if I can make this four weeks in a row with the best bet or the best pick of the week. Let's get into it. To start off, we're going to start off with uh, Image this week. And the first book is going to be Mirka and Dolph Mercy number one. A few different covers here. I'm going to, um, let's see, let's just open up cover A by uh, Indolfo. It's basically, it's her second series now on Image. Um, if you guys are familiar with Unnatural, I really like the storyline, so I'm going to give this one a shot. Basically, it's going into Victorian times. It's um, a woman in black, you know, arrives and where a town is just completely un unrest. And there's been a lot of murders and uh, we'll see what happens from there. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to pull out the calculator and uh, add that to the list at $3.99. All right. There's a bunch of cool covers in there as well. There's a cover here by Ramos. There's one by Art Germ, Marini, and uh, I guess Bucci. So uh, pick what you like. Um, going on to the next book. Just one I wanted to point out. Um, probably a lot of people may not read this because they're not familiar with it, but it's a Outer Darkness 2 number 1. It's a three-part miniseries by uh, John Lehman and Rob Guillory. Um, basically, it's a mashup where if the character Tony Chu goes into space, where, you know, this is where Art of Darkness takes place. So, um, I don't know. It's it's kind of uh, a, a quirky little mixture. So, it's uh, going into the 28th century starship captain flying with this detective that solves cases by eating just food. I don't know, meat. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of interesting, but I'm going to I'm going to pass. Um, all right, getting onto IDW, there is a new book here, Crow Leaf number one or Crow Left number one. Not too familiar with the character, the character, the crow, but I just wanted to point this out that the um, the books are already sold out on Midtown. Um, only two covers, cover A by uh, Pichamoko, and there is a nice little cult following with Pichamoko. Um, he does some great artwork. And um, this is a really wicked dark cover. Um, and I believe cover B is also a little graphic on there too. This guy has a <laughs> power drill up his nose. Um, pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the uh, the character, the crow. But I just wanted to point that out there. So um, moving on to uh, DC. And like I said, I'm going to go for four weeks in a row with the hot book of the week. And it's none other than another Batman book. Go figure. Um, Batman number 90. It's going to be the first full appearance of the designer and its origin. And I believe this is also George Jimenez's uh, first work on Batman. So a small little tidbit of information in there. Um, this book is super hot. It's already sold out. If you don't have this book on pre-order... Or if you don't have this on poll, you're probably going to have to be at the uh, LCS right at opening and hope you get one. Two covers, like I said, George Jimenez on cover A and this really cool Matina cover B with the uh, the Riddler. Um, I should be able to get both books. I talked to my uh, LCS uh, owner the other day when I added it, but you just never know. So I'm hope hoping that I get it. So I'm going to add this to the list at $3.99 and then go from there. All right, so there's a big, another 750th issue special. This time it's with one of my personal favorite characters on DC and it's going to be The Flash. Um, tons of covers. This is, I believe, issue number 89 in the current series. And um, I've been reading issues on and off. It's been it's been pretty good, you know. You, but um, I believe this one is written by a bunch of people, so uh, not your typical writer, which I believe is Williamson. 
but um, a bunch of covers are doing a lot of these decades covers. I am going to point out some of them. Pretty cool covers here from uh, Flash number 750. Um, just wanted to point out a few. Here's the uh, Matina cover, it's a 90s. Uh, really cool, looks like he's in the Speed Force. Really nice cover. Um, there's also this classic 40s Nicola Scott. I just like the vintage stuff. That's just me personally. But I'm gonna, as I said, add this to the list. $7.99. There you go. Moving on. I believe there's another number one. And it's Strange, Strange Adventures number one. This is written by Tom King. It's a 12 issue maxi series. Not a big fan of Adam Strange, but um, considering Tom King is. Tom King's writing it, he may actually be more focused and it may actually be a good story. So something to put out there just in case if you wanted this, something different. But that's going to be a pass for me. Moving on to Marvel. And for Marvel this week, I think it's kind of a light week. Um, just going to mention, I want to say there's one book that I was interested in. And it's Strange Academy number one. And um, let's see, written by Scotty Young. And um, last time I read a Marvel written by Scotty Young, I believe it was Deadpool. Not the current Deadpool, but the one before. And I actually liked it. So I'm going to give this one a shot. There's a ton of first appearances in this um, story. So look out for that if that's something you're into. Just added that to the list. We're at 21 so far. Um, basically, it's into the magic storyline. A lot of sorcery. So it's going to be, you know, let me just pull up the key collector real quick. Just to uh, get some info. So it looks like there's, like I said, a bunch of first appearances. So if that's something you're into, check it out. Um... Like I said, uh, looks like Doctor Strange has done what he's avoided for decades. He's opened up a school for young sorcerers. Cool. All right. Moving on. And the, I forgot to mention, sorry about that. There's a bunch of covers as well. Um, so let's see. Pick what you like. Just want to show you the Scotty Young cover. Not a big fan of his art, but his writing's been pretty good. Here's the uh, Jamal Campbell cover. Sorry, J. Scott Campbell cover. <laughs> Not Jamal Campbell. Um, it's a little interesting. It's a little different for him. His style. But uh, I like that cover as well. So that's it for Marvel. Just the one book this week. Moving on to the indies. Um, don't believe there's anything from Dynamite. Alright, going on to Boom. There is this one book this week I'm very interested in. And it's going to be King of Nowhere number one. Written by Maxwell Prince. W. Maxwell Prince. If you're not familiar with W. Maxwell Prince, he's the uh, current writer on Ice Cream Man. As you know, this book has already been optioned. Um, it's going to be a horror story, obviously. So that's what the guy writes. He writes good horror stories. Um, so this one talks about a lovable low life awakens in a village called Nowhere, home to a friendly populace of mutated citizens, and as he regains his memory, slowly catches up to him. Cool. Um, some cool covers. Jeez, why does it keep on doing that? All right, some cool covers. I do like this cover B is actually pretty cool too as well. So I could probably give you some uh, insight on some other characters. But the one cover I'm looking forward to is this FOC. It's done by Christian Ward. And this cover is awesome. There's just something about this cover I like. And I think it's going to be a good story. Um, so 
probably if it, it's probably gonna be one of the better reads of the week. If it wasn't for Batman 90, I'd probably make this between this and another book my top pick of the week. Especially if this cover is awesome. If it looks very, you know, Jim Steranko esque, and I'm gonna put a picture up there in comparison, and you may get that similar vibe to it. So um, check that out. Might be a little bit harder for me to get this book because it's boom. But uh, if I can find it, I'm going to pick this up, add this to the list at $3.99. And, all right, so we're moving on to the smaller indies. And uh, there's a bunch of number ones this week, but I just want to kind of narrow it down to like one or two more. There is this really cool, so this Sumerian Queen of the Black Coast number one. I love these action comics cover swipes. And um, from what I heard, this is actually like a really cool uncensored Conan the Barbarian story. Um, usually these action comics cover swipes are really hot. Last time I put one on my uh, best bets of the week, it was Ice Cream Man, I believe issue 17 or 13, and it sold out. It's still currently going for around 10 to 15 bucks. So these books usually carry, they do well because of the uh, the cover swipes. Um, but I just wanted to point this one out as, I'm gonna put this as an honorable mention, because I think the story might be pretty good too, actually. So, um, so that's that. If you're interested in that, it'll be my honorable mention of the week. Moving on. Let's see. I'm going to add this next book to the list. There is Dryad too. I know a few people were talking about this book, but it's, it, it's not really up my alley per se. So I just wanted to point that out. It's this next book here, Join the Future number one. Written by uh, Zach Kaplan, and uh, the artworks by Piotr Kowalski. Um, basically, what this story talks about. Let's see. So, uh, in the future, mega cities take care of their residents, each and every need. But there are those on the rural outskirts who prefer the traditional ways and will defend their independence as the city threatens to absorb them. Uh, sounds like a pretty interesting story. It's uh, this is written by, uh, uh, sorry, this is published by um, Aftershock. I'm gonna add this to the list. Is that $4.99? And um, I'm gonna give this first issue a shot and then see what happens. So, if you're not familiar with Zach Kaplan, he's also written Lost City Explorers and. Um, Piotr Kowalski's artworks may be recognized from uh, Port of Earth or the um, Marvel Knight series. So, uh, definitely interesting. So, moving on. And um, getting down towards the end. Oh, actually, I think that's it. All right, guys, um, so that'll wrap up this week's new comic book day best bets of the week. How do we do? Oh, wow, right at the $30 mark. All right, so cutting it real close this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below what books you guys are looking at, and um, and, what, and let me know what you guys think about the whole uh, Batman 90. Is it something you're trying to look out for this week for the new comic book day? If not, um, let me know what, what books you're interested in. All right, until next time, this is Mark Spector Comics. Out.